Hey everyone, Neil here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get both clear gems on the special DLC level, Future Tense. This is a pretty tricky level, but it's definitely doable. Uh, so with that being said, let's jump right into it. Now it's also good to note that I have already beat the game, I have the running shoes, and I have all the power-ups. So you might want to make sure you do that if you want to replicate how I'm doing this level. Uh, feel free. But we have 145 boxes to get. And they're pulling all the stops out on this level, so right on the rip we gotta immediately turn around and go backwards to get these first 8 boxes. Because they just want to hide that stuff there, because that's what they do on Crash. They, they hide stuff all the time. And I'm just going to blow everything up. It's not necessary, but... I'm just going to blow that up, too. That guy can go somewhere. We don't have time for that. You got to jump up right here. And unfortunately, you can't use the bazooka while your uh, Aku Aku mask is protecting you like that, so we had to wait. We're gonna just hit that, come over here, and then get all these free lives. Normally, those would have been empty, but because we hit that exclamation mark box, they filled in. Nice little checkpoint. I love them, so if we die, we're already good to go with the 23 boxes. And I'm just going to use my uh, bazooka to actually blow all the nitro boxes up when, when I'm able to. Um, just because. It makes things easier. And if you notice the glass, you see the reflection of this mecha robot shooting missiles at us. Not sure why. Maybe he thinks he can break the glass, but those are some pretty weak missiles. They can't even break glass. Should we really be scared of it? But he'll do his three and then you go because he takes a second before he starts shooting again. Um, we're gonna go in and get our checkpoint box just in case we die because this is a nice little tricky part up here we're, we're getting to. You could save it, uh, if you wanted, for after you do this part. Now here, make sure you don't get in that, that little fan blade, because you will hit this TNT. So it's best just to do that, and then this is a tricky part, you gotta wait a second, and then go. You have to kinda like, fall into it, otherwise you will also hit that TNT up there. Oh, this guy. He almost got me. Not cool, bro. And we're gonna wait a second. No rush. Just take our time. And uh, here's the death platform. So obviously, you actually have to get here for one of the clear gems without dying. So. That is good to know, I didn't mention that in the beginning. So you gotta get to this death platform without dying. So if you have died, I'm sorry, but you'll have to redo it. We're just gonna blow that up. And I'm gonna wait a second, I don't wanna get my Kuaku mask right here. And I'm gonna wait a second again. I wanna kind of see if I can blow these boxes up from here. Which you can. Much easier than jumping on them. And uh, now we're gonna... Go for it. And this part we're gonna wait. We don't want this to blow any of those boxes up. Oh my god! 
And then we're going to actually shoot the spikes ahead of time. And the shooting the spikes didn't matter, apparently. So what you want to do is just slide, jump, double spin over all that. And we're going to go on and shoot this box. I don't know if we can make the other one from here, which we can. That's awesome. We're going to go and shoot all those guys down there. Get them out the way. I'm not too sure how that hit me. Um, but that's okay. And we're going to go on and get rid of that. And then right here, this is also an achievement. Feel free to shoot them and get that achievement if you haven't already. But that's the beautiful death route and did that first try, which was great. I accidentally got hit and now we have our first clear gem of the level. Now we just have to do the rest of this level. And I have full faith that we can do it. And of course I already got the checkpoint box. It would have been real nice to have the Akiwaku mask. Because we could have just ran right on past this stuff. But that's okay. We gotta blow this guy up. He's rude. Alright, we gotta give wait a second, and yes, we do have to unfortunately come up here, we're gonna blow this nitro up, and we come up here all for four little boxes, and we're gonna make our way back, again, patience is key. And I'm gonna go on and blow this stuff up. And now we got our beautiful bonus round. We gotta be quick here, right? I know that was a lot to to get down, but if you just replay it and watch it slow, it's a little difficult, but it's definitely manageable to do. So let me just explain what I did there real quick. Anyway, um, so first what we did, right, was we blew up the first set of boxes, then we waited for this one to be a regular box, we spun. It started the counter on the TNT, and we jump down here, because once that TNT explodes, this will get filled in. And then it'll start the counter for this other TNT right here. When that happens, you want to make sure that you hit that box and immediately get through those series of boxes right there and then get slide through that. Because once that blows up over there, this becomes filled in and then it's impossible to complete. But if that was really fast, uh, just feel free to rewatch what I did. Uh, I don't know if I explained it too well, I'm not the best at explaining stuff, but the rewind button is there, so. Now, if you notice, when we came up this platform right here, if you look off to the side, uh, you'll see that there's actually a spot right here we can go down. like so. Another sneaky part. And if you notice right here with the mirror, we got a TNT box hidden. So we don't want to just go spinning. Because we will get hit.
And then after we do that, make sure we're not missing any boxes. I'm pretty sure we got everything. Uh, this becomes filled in and we're able to actually jump back out now. Uh, well, if you're not bad like me, you can actually jump out. Ah, here. If you notice, we gotta spin that into the box. The box was reflected in the, the glass right here for us. So that's how you know. It's... When I tell you they're pulling out all the stops on this level, they're pulling out all the stops. We're just gonna shoot this box instead of trying to jump on it. It's much easier. And that's how you get both clear gems for this level. Thanks for watching.